I'm live. I wonder if am I live yet? Oh, text me. <laughs> um, what about now, though? Okay, hold on. I'm going to have to try to actually stop. I see, I see me going through this about three minutes ago. <laughs> Starting from now or three minutes ago. <laughs> I wonder. Hmm. Okay, well, since I'm on, hi. Thanks for coming, everyone. I wonder if I can sniff this out when I feel like. Touch the stuff, I might need to grab that. I need to do some more. Just in case I got it. I have two blade arts now. I wonder if I need more. <laughs> something if you're here. I have two blade arts now. I wonder if I need more. <laughs> Clearly go see. Sweet scene. <laughs> Let's see. Live, I learned that there is a go live button on the YouTube place. I'm looking at Twitch and seeing how that goes. So I may edit this out. I may start on Twitch, Twitch, Twitch. That's what it is. <laughs> um, let's see. Well, since I'm here. Might as well start with my intro. So, welcome to Legend of Lola. A short hero of the Crusader. Let me know in the comments what you like the most. The music, my commentary, me trying to figure out how the hell this works. I'd also love to know what music you think sounds heroic. So, write in the comments, send me a message, however you want to do it. I'd love to know. Um, and I might play it later on. Um, not tonight. Probably not tonight. <laughs> um, but, so the first piece I'll play in a moment is the Fifth Suit by J.S. Bach on the viola. Or doing the controls for the cello. Um, I think the suite in particular demonstrates the trials of a hero really well. Um, the prelude fits the description of a French overture because of a small rhythm order, and it is divided into a slow part and a fast part. A lot of music is classified by, it starts slow, it goes fast. It starts fast, and then slow, and then fast. And it's, or, or it's slow, or it's fast. Um, so, categorizations of music. But um, you'll notice the motive throughout each movement. There are six movements in every suite. Um, and this is important. Let's see. Oh, the motive is a dotted eighth and a sixteenth. So, um, but it's a French overture, so it's actually stylized. Um, so that the 
short note is even shorter. Um, and this is important because France's son king, Louis the 16th, my bad history forgive me, um, but not so much when it comes to music. Um, but apparently he enjoyed having a grand entrance. Actually, was it the 14th? There are too many Louis. In any case, he liked having a grand entrance. And so to leave, um, a, an Italian French composer composed these French overture movements, these French overtures um, that had this motive and started slow and started and then fast. And the king would walk in during the slow movement. because he's all important and grand. <laughs> um, so since Bach uses this in the suite, I think it has a very majestic air to it. Uh, the suite is in minor, though. So it's as though the character is overcoming the challenges of and for the people. Um, so each movement of the suite, to me, depicts an aspect of a hero's trial. Um, and the prelude ends on what's called a Picardy third. Uh, so in minor, it's all sad and depressed and dreary. Um, at the very end of the music, the last chord is major, and so it's suddenly happy. You're like, okay, this is a common thing to do in uh, Baroque music. So it makes me think like a hero was born. So I'm a little bit early to my block, but here's. Let's try that again, shall we? Thank <laughs> you. 